Again, a lot of great information, a lot of events coming up in the years. You can keep uh, informed of those as well as go ahead and reserve your space, ARHQ.com, on the events tab. The first thing you mentioned there was movies, and it actually ties in, Nolan. Uh, If you saw the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, you saw Leonardo DiCaprio playing the part of Jordan Belfort. Well, Jordan is now out of prison, and he's written a book about his experiences. During an interview with Tucker Carlson, uh, Belfort gave his opinion on financial news networks and CNBC stock picking host Jim Cramer. I actually opted into Kramer's little thing online, and I started receiving a barrage of like 100 emails about join his special club, he'll alert you to what stocks are going up and down in real time. I mean, it's like, this is insanity, but this is a major network, right? That's giving investors crappy advice. Now on the flip side, here's the weird part. They also have good stuff on that network, like there's legitimate news, and that's the problem. So they mix in legitimate news, great reporting, interviews with great CEOs, and you learn about the economy, what's going on in the world, but they intersperse that with like this market giving advice and it's nonsense. People can't beat the market. Now, I have no doubt that when people come in, they probably ask you about stock tips, maybe just even on, on the street too. Uh, when they do that, what advice do you give them? Well, you know, the one thing I do is I would tell people now's a really kind of a perfect time to do an independent portfolio analysis. So if you want to look at your investments, you want to take a look at, you know, how you're allocated and uh, do what we refer to as portfolio optimization, give us a call at the office and we can do a independent portfolio analysis, give you feedback on your specific uh, investments that you have. But, you know, Chaz, when we were talking about this, I think we really kind of broke it down into the three segments of advice that we would give when somebody asks us about uh, stock tip advice. So number one is avoid the hype. Number two is have a methodology when it comes to picking your investments. And number three is do your research or hire a professional. So when those topics come up for you, Chaz, what do you uh, tell people about how to try to avoid the hype or the methodology or the plan and process? Yeah, well, I just kind of first thought it was a little ironic that, you know, um, Jordan Belfort is kind of ripping on Jim Cramer for, you know, doing something, you know, he didn't like in the market when it's kind of like, wow, you, you're actually <laughs> stealing money from people and you have a hard time about getting too many emails. But, um, you know, I, I think... Uh, you know, it, it is uh, a good question, and obviously I'm a little biased because that's the industry that we're in. I love the stock market. That was actually the reason why I got into the business because every day you wake up and your job's different. And so that's what's most exciting to me. Uh, but you can get yourself into some trouble. And, you know, following those steps, like Nolan just said, I think is a good is a good starting point. One of the, the main, uh, I guess, tips or... Um, bit of advice that I would give to our clients that are looking to uh, pick stocks is to have a philosophy, you know, to have something that is going to help you stay in your seat when markets get volatile. Um, You know, and it's just because there's so much, there's so much information, you know, there's so many news stories coming out and there's so much conflicting information sometimes, you know, to, to his point, to Jordan's point, I think on some parts of the show on CNBC, because we watch it all day long, you know, they'll, they'll literally have a guest on that completely conflicts everything that the previous guest just said. And so you're as a, as a novice investor, you're, you're left wondering, well, who do you trust more? Who has more credibility? Um, and, you know, generally that's not necessarily the best thing to do because sometimes I've, I've found in the industry, uh, Folks aren't necessarily stock pickers. Maybe they're just good people, 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 persons, or you know, and, and they maybe aren't um, students of the industry. You know, they don't actually uh, make the buy and sell decisions. They're maybe the ones that are just more asset gatherers and, and you know, meeting clients. And so I would say have a disciplined investment approach. Make sure that it's something that you uh, there, there's stocks that you use on a regular basis. Maybe some. Um, you know, items, household items. I know that's been one of the more popular, more successful portfolios uh, that that I help manage is is our consumer staples. You know, uh, uh, stocks that you know and trust, and that you have and you use on an everyday basis. Um, also, having a very strict buy and sell strategy. What, why we own something, and then why we're going to sell it. Make sure you have those th- those basic. Um, rules and regulations built into your investment strategy so that you don't get easily thrown off course. Well, I would tell you that, you know, when you look at avoiding the hype, um, I love going to the gym. I've been going with a good friend of mine 
Uh, I need to go a couple more times a week, but I enjoy going with him. And it, it's pretty common that at the gym we'll be walking on the treadmill, and he'll talk to me about some type of new social media video that he saw that talks about the latest and greatest hype that's out there. And the, the challenge is, I think, with the explosion of social media today, uh, people who are not even regulated in this industry have the ability to go on a platform and give you advice about hot stock tips. The second thing that I would tell you is people will forward videos to me and say, hey, Nolan, take a look at this video. What do you think about it? I'd say, you know, jump to the very end of the video and watch what the motivation is for that video. You know, sometimes they're ended up selling a financial product and they want you to get switch gears. Um, you know, think about how is that advice customized for your unique situation and really try to avoid some of the short term fans versus sticking with what your long term plan is. Uh, it's okay to have what I call a sandbox account, maybe some fun money that you can do that with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you have that core overall retirement plan, as Chaz was pointing out, you want to have a methodology, a philosophy of when it comes to investing. Then you want to finally do your research and or hire a professional. Uh, there's great websites that I like, like Morningstar.com. Uh, can give you a wealth of information about different companies where you can look at their uh, financial health, their profitability, look at the uh, charts and performance, see who some of their competitors are. Uh, Tip Ranks is another good site that gives a lot of research uh, about uh, markets and where people feel that they, uh, the stock price is going to go. And, you know, we work with Charles Schwab, and that also has a lot of good research and available as well. So, again, you know, when people are asking me what is a good stock tip, I'm going to say number one is avoid the hype. Number two, have a methodology. Number three, do your research or hire a professional. And, you know, if this is your New Year's resolution. If you want to get financially fit for this year, uh, take the next step. If you're a listener to the show, maybe you're somebody on our YouTube channel and you want to get a complimentary independent portfolio analysis, uh, reach out to the office. We'll be happy to give you some feedback and talk to you about, you know, some tips to make this year financially sound for you and your family. If you're a longtime listener or, or viewer of the show and you go on, you know, YouTube or Spotify, wherever you consume, you check out previous editions of the show, you'll find that uh, the guys give very generalized information. They don't get very specific about it because that is not going to be applicable to everyone's situation out there. What you need at that point is a personalized, uh, you know, re review and analysis of, of what you have. These people on TV, they give it seems like pretty solid advice, but again, it goes back to considering the source and then is it customized for you? Probably not. Having that independent portfolio analysis is a great step to see what is going to work best for you in your retirement. Is it not a novel concept? Pick up the phone, give a call and schedule a time for that portfolio analysis. 419-794-3030. Again, that is complimentary. You can also go to the website if you prefer at ARHQ.com.